Now let's turn our thoughts outwards again uh, as we pray for uh, the world around us. Let's pray. Father, as we come tonight and we consider your son, we remember all those in this world uh, for uh, whom they know no father. For all the broken families, whether broken by war or broken by separation. For the many who, who know no one that they can call dad. We pray that you would be a father to the fatherless. That it, all families could find home in you. And all those who are broken can be mended in you. We pray that as a church we would welcome with open arms all those who would come and be part of your family. As we think of the humanity of Christ as he came and lived with us to experience what we experienced, to know what it was to be human. We are also ashamed, Lord, of man's inhumanity to man. We pray for those places that are at war, we thank you for the tentative agreement between Israel and Palestine. We pray for continued peace and also for justice to reign in that land. We think of fighting factions, different partisan groups and sectarianism across the world. We think of the issues in America with racism, but also the sectarianism that occurs on our own doorstep. We pray for your reconciliation, for compassion and understanding between groups that don't understand each other. We pray for a willingness uh, to come together with those who are different to us, those we don't agree with, those we struggle with. Lord, give us hearts for reconciliation. And as we remember you as the Lord of creation, we pray for your creation, aware of so much damage that we have done to it. We pray as we look forward to welcoming the COP26 in Glasgow later this year and the preparations underway for that. We pray, Lord, that you would give us a real insight into our own uh, taking of the environment when we cannot give back. Help us to care more for the world that you have created. Help us to be reconciled with this wonderful earth that you have placed us in, which speaks to us so much of you, and yet we have so often ignored it and hurt it. And Lord, as the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland started yesterday, we pray for all those who are commissioners. We pray for the new moderator. But mostly, Lord, we pray that Jesus would be king, that he would reign over the highest court of our church, that his name would be lifted high, And Lord, help us to trust in your sovereignty, even over the church. And for all the decisions that are made that will maybe disappoint us. And for the decisions 
that maybe we would approve of, that we would know that you are in charge, that you are in control, that there is only one king and head of the church and that is Jesus. Finally, Lord, in a moment of silence, we again remember those who are closest to us, that you have brought to our minds, those who are in need of you, whether it is through healing or salvation, whether it's for financial difficulty, or for mental health issues. Lord, we bring you those people now in the silence. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you hear our prayers. Thank you that you are not powerless to answer, that you do not sleep or rest, but are always there to hear us when we pray. So we offer you our prayers in confidence and in the great name of Jesus. Amen. Now we turn again to song as we sing, uh, Lord, you sometimes speak in wonders. <laughs> 